It's lights out away. We go for Stappen. Gets an awful start. He's already been bypassed by the two Mercedes Norris and Raikkonen as well. Leclerc leads from Bottas. Then comes Lando Norris ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Kimi Raikkonen then slots in behind them. And behind Raikkonen, Sebastian Vettel. And then comes Pierre Gasly and Antonio Giovinazzi. Great start for Charles Leclerc. Into turn three we go. Norris on the inside of Hamilton. Hamilton goes wide. Lando Norris might get a decent getaway. And wheel to wheel with the Mercedes there. The two British drivers really going for it. Hamilton eases ahead of Norris. Slots back behind him. And we see, I think, Gasly's ahead of Verstappen even in the Red Bull team. An awful start. It bogged down. I think he went into anti-stall. It was a very long red light today compared to last weekend. And it looks like it caught Max Verstappen out. Max Verstappen has lost more positions on the first lap today than his previous 14 races combined as here goes the Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel squeezing past Lando Norris into turn three but Norris is going to come back at Sebastian Vettel now towards turn four and he's got DRS assistance as well is the McLaren going to go round the outside of the Ferrari into turn four Vettel breaks just that fraction later and that saves the day but he runs wide and he's still a little bit under pressure in this battle for fifth place Look, Verstappen's a lot closer on this particular occasion. I need more power, mate. He's scripting a lot. Old message, because I think he's got enough power, and he has. Into turn three. That'll please the uh, Dutch crowd here. Verstappen has Raikkonen in his sights towards turn three. Under braking. Who's prepared to break the latest? Max Verstappen is. Kimi Raikkonen didn't put up much of a fight for the second lap running. Verstappen makes a place at turn three. Tell me what to stop pushing. Target lap time 10.0. It's good like this. The team having to kind of put the reins on a bit as Norris dives down the inside on Kimi Raikkonen and Raikkonen gives him space. Valtteri Bottas into the pit lane and Sebastian Vettel. They might have done the dubby, dummy uh, down at Ferrari. No, they haven't because Sebastian Vettel is coming in too. And that is a very neat move indeed by Ferrari because by pitting Sebastian Vettel then, that They're kept not ready Bottas. For him. Well, it kept Bottas stationary for longer, but they weren't ready, Martin, with the tyres. And whatever ground they made up by uh, coming in when they did, they then lost by a very lengthy pit stop, 6.1 seconds. Vettel was stationary for. Box, 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 box. That's your plan, change wing. Hey, Ferb, we're going to do that. So whatever's gone wrong on that front wing, Lewis Hamilton can't run it uh, for any longer in this race. And this is Gasly and Raikkonen. Now we've seen these two really going for it uh, so far this afternoon. Gasly's finally got his man, Martin. Go back, let's get it done early. Let's do it. Verstappen is going to send the Red Bull ring absolutely crazy if he can make this move and out of turn three now he's got a very good chance indeed as one car length in it as Verstappen goes round the outside again and this time before the corner arrives Max Verstappen is up into the podium positions and they absolutely love that oh, I'm losing power guys meanwhile in the cockpit all is not well for Max Verstappen Losing power. Here he comes, here he comes, down towards turn three. Is Verstappen going to go down the inside? Yes, he is under braking. Max Verstappen manages to clear Valtteri Bottas. He started second in Verstappen. He was down towards position nine by the end of the first lap, and he is back up to second once again. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, this is game on. Honda have won just one Grand Prix in the last 27 years. It was Jensen Button, the Hungarian Grand Prix in 2006. They're on the verge here of getting the lead in the Austrian Grand Prix as Verstappen goes down the inside once again. He's wheel to wheel with Charles Leclerc and Verstappen comes out still alongside that Ferrari. He's got down DRS. towards turn four. Verstappen's got DRS once again. He's so close. He's wheel to wheel once again, but it is a very tricky part of the track to overtake if you're not ahead going into the braking zone and fair play bravo Charles Leclerc that was great defending 
towards turn three. Is he going to go inside or outside? Which way is Verstappen going to go here? DRS wide open, gaining on the Ferrari. Switches early, Verstappen. Late braking. Leclerc this time might just have to give way as he goes off the track. And when he comes back on, Max Verstappen has just sent Holland into raptures. He leads the Austrian Grand Prix. What a battle this has been. And on that occasion, Leclerc powerless to defend his lead. He turned in on me. Mate, there was nothing wrong with that, mate. Nothing wrong with it. What the hell is that? The stewards are now looking at that incident between Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen, but it might not be over yet. What are Hamilton and Vettel going to do in these last couple of laps? because Sebastian Vettel might just get the chance as well to get past the Mercedes. As it is, Hamilton's teammate Valtteri Bottas looks comfortable in third place, but Hamilton's fourth place has just disappeared as he locks up. Sebastian Vettel goes past into turn four, and Hamilton's run of podium finishes is going to come to an end here at the Red Bull Ring this afternoon. For Stappen is going to give his fans cause for celebration once again. It's one, two, three, four, five, six victories in Formula One for Max Verstappen, and this number six was very much the best. Verstappen wins the Austrian Grand Prix, but a round of applause amidst all the hugs and celebrations at Red Bull for Charles Leclerc as well, who just couldn't fend off Verstappen in the end. Oh, would have turned out after that one. <laughs> Great job, boys. Mercedes on the podium through Valtteri Bottas. Honda on the podium once again and winners for the first time since 2006. Charles Leclerc for the moment, still waiting for his first win. Max Verstappen, they came, they saw, and he conquered. But will that result stand? What an afternoon it's been.